Hi Libra. This message is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Check your chart. You could be cross-watching for a Libra. Or maybe you are into your birth chart. And you are like, let me check my, my Libra placement. I was about to say Capricorn placement, but uh, I'm not about to sit here and say that you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Because you could be, but I just uploaded a Capricorn reading. Anyways, Libra, sun, moon, rising, north node, Venus, left, right, front, back, Tootsie Roll, whatever. Okay. Almost didn't uh, upload the Capricorn reading because <laughs> when I was trying to create this short, I noticed that my lipstick was messed up. And I was like, uh, fuck it. I'm still going to upload it because somebody needs to hear this message and I really feel like there's something in this message that you need to hear as well I've been having some really strange things going on with my deck Libra okay and what I with my decks and what I mean is that like me getting my decks prepared and cards falling out or sliding out so I decided like because I like to shuffle in front of y'all that's just my thing I like for y'all to see what I do, but I decided that there are, when I split the deck after I shuffle for you guys, I want to show you guys what was in the middle of the deck. I am the supreme voice. I consider myself to be way more of a messenger than a tarot reader. However, you may find the channel messages I deliver to you may resonate. You may find that the tarot resonates. Either way it goes, drop me some messages in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, Librans? How y'all doing? Let's balance out them skills, baby. What's up, Supreme Team? What's up? Okay, first of all, I want to make myself very clear about something when it comes to my gifts. Um, especially when it comes to foresight. And I forgot to share this with the Capricorn Collective, but oh well, I'm sharing it with you guys. So maybe this is something somebody needs to know in regards to their own gifts. I have these gifts since I was very, very young. In fact, um, there was this man that used to take me to church with him. And um, I would get ready and um, he was actually my mom's boyfriend. And he was very much into church. And he would basically, for me, with my childhood, for me to go to church was like my escape out of um, the certain kind of household that I lived in, okay? Um, and I remember before I would go to church, I would open my Bible and I would start reading something out, this random chapter. I would go to church and the pastor would begin the sermon out of that same book or out of that same chapter, okay? I'm telling you this because I feel like this is going to be a timeless reading what I'm about to do. There's something about future tense. So if you're watching this and you're like, nothing resonated with me because I know that my message confirmed things, okay? But there is about to be something that comes out of this reading that is in future tense, okay? Um, channel messages. Oh. Someone that is against tarot is in some sort of belief that they're very, very much more perfect, okay? I'm picking up someone who's very religious. This person um, is very much against tarot, tarot readings. They feel like it is of evil. They feel like it's bad. Um, this person still watches tarot. <laughs> they have whatever they're saying. They could be cross-watching me right now, okay? But they're still watching. Weird energy. Um, <laughs> somebody keeps speaking about you. Someone keeps speaking about you and when they talk about you, they just keep like, they show your picture to people. Someone keeps talking about you. They keep talking about you. And they show their, your picture to people. Um, they want other people's opinion. Someone's trying to get people to agree with whatever they're feeling about you, Libra. Okay? 
I also had the word plea or plea deal or oath. So some of you guys could be dealing with something in the justice system or there's something about a contract or a plea. Even as I tried to get away from the word plea, it kept coming up, plea, okay? The number 44 could be significant, which adds up to be number eight, which is 2004. Something could be significant. I'm speaking to someone who's 44 years old. I could be speaking to someone where something happened when you were eight years old or there's something happening in eight days. Double digits again, okay? Even numbers. Deranged. Um, you've got a deranged feminine energy. They have ulterior motives. Um, this person is ill. They have some sort of chronic condition. Okay. For some reason, I just picked up right when I said that it could be something dealing with their skin. I don't know. They could have eczema on their skin or dark marks or something. Um, infantigo. Look, I started itching. Infantigo is something about this person. Um, they could be obsessed with your skin. Um, somebody in a group of people wants out somebody in the group of people it's a whole group of people that don't even like each other it's a clan of people and they don't even like each other they're like it's weird because if you don't like the people that you're around then you get the fuck up out of it but someone is stuck in a it's a group of karmics and they don't even like each other so Speaking of the deck, when I split the deck, I got the Page of Wands with the Magician. The first download that I got from this particular energy was that there's someone who just refuses to stop being a fucking karmic. They refuse. Like, they'll be like, oh, that didn't work. Okay, let me start that. Hey, something significant about um, the month of May. In specific... If you want me to tell you what I've seen, i just seen 5-8, almost like May 8th, okay, which goes back to when I said something about the number 8. You could be doing, I think, May 8th. I think that's Taurus, so there could be something happening in Taurus season, or there's a Taurus cross-watching. We could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I've got some collective messages. I don't know when I'll be doing that um, particular collective reading, whether I'm going to do it live or I'll download it. I have no idea, but there has been a lot of different coincidentals that's been happening. Well, it really doesn't happen coincidentally, but there's been some things happening with my, not necessarily even pre-shuffling, but anyway, it's synchronicities are very, very strong in your energy. You should be feeling some sort of different vibrations as we're moving into the solar eclipse, Libra. Some scales will be balancing out in your favor. Queen of Wands in reverse. Here we go. First card out. That's my Leo card. My Leo card. The bottom of the deck was the page of swords. There's a deranged female watching you. And if it's a masculine, they're in feminine energy. Strength card, more Leo energy. Clarifying that one. Y'all, that landed with the seven of cups. Just tried to fall out. Someone crazy. Someone real crazy. We got the Six of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Libra. Libra. Ace of Wands. Hmm, I can already see where this is going. The Justice. Oh, I'm stopping. The Ace of Swords. I'm stopping. This Queen of Wands in reverse. There's a fire sign watching you. Does it, you know what? I'm, I'm going to stop right there. I'm trying to get away from saying signs because sometimes the person has this energy. And when we're talking about the element of fire, that's passionate. Okay? So you've got a passionate karmic, a hater in your energy. 
the sign of Leo or not, this person has a problem with you, okay? But what gets me is it just like cuts off. And this is the problem that they have with you, your heavenly gifts, your God-given gifts. For some of you, you're receiving money. People are admiring you. Um, I just seen a diamond in my third eye. For some of you guys, you're getting married. For some of you guys, you're being viewed as something very, very valuable and precious. And with your God-given gifts, it's a definite that you're favored by the heavens. Something failed. Something failed. That's why I said someone came up with some sort of idea. Like something failed with the um, page of wands in reverse. And then, the, I mean, the page of wands... It's like someone came up with some idea to come up against you, Libra. And I'm speaking to high vibrational Librans right now, okay? Because I know karmic's cross-watching. I'm speaking to the high vibrational Librans who wear genuine crowns with diamonds in them. Because only thing that can create diamonds is pressure. You've gone through something. Someone also wants your gifts to fail. Someone wants your gifts to fail. the source bottom of the deck the truth okay this came in sideways which is the eight of wands so it could be taking a little bit of time you could feel a little bit anxious especially if there's a court case going on plea deal oath contract something um ending now i know 30 day notice did come out in the Capricorn reading. So um, when I say contract ending, some of you guys could be um, moving, putting in a 30 day notice, employment, your house, your apartment. Um, but the eight of wands did come out here sideways. Ugh. Somebody crazy. Somebody's rushing fast over into your energy. And the reason why they're rushing fast into your energy is because they realize that your gifts are real. It could be more than one person. Whoever does this weird shit behind the, the, the scenes, they indulge in it quite a bit, okay? This person has some sorts of like... addiction to dark work. Four Pinnacles. That's in reverse. Someone's crazy as fuck. The devil in reverse. Someone's very, you know what? Someone could be very um, mentally demented and deranged this is the kind of energy that i'd be like uh they do something fucked up and they turn around and be like oh i didn't mean to do that but then they go back and do it again someone is saying that they're not doing something and they are doing it it could be a capricorn it could be another libran it could be a leo We got the Knight of Cups in reverse. This could definitely be somebody that you've slept with. This person could be coming back into your energy saying that they're not fooling with somebody when really they are. Mercury is in retrograde. You could be dealing with an ex that's going to call you up. I just seen the number one, two, three, four. Someone's trying to figure out a way how to get in your energy. Like, ready, set, go. Seven of Wands in reverse. Someone's also trying to rush in your energy. This person could also be under this. They could be offering something like, oh, no, um, let me take that back. Let me go ahead and give you that money I owe you. Let me go. Whoever did this has done something in the dark and they're trying their best to be like you. They're trying to change their destiny because they realize that who they were fucking with, they should have never fucked with. Mm -hmm. this person is trying to release this person could be offering money okay this person is trying to get or offering a different offer someone could try to be 
going back to church after they've played in witchcraft. But it all has to do with the fact that they want to be released from whatever their debt they're in with you know who. But they're crazy. They're crazy. They're delusional. They're deranged. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Uh-huh. They're burdened. Temperance is in reverse. They're heartbroken. This person could also be dealing with some sort of chronic condition. I'm picking up some sort of chronic mental illness, to be honest with you. Okay? We've got the temperance here in reverse. This person is being haunted. This person is paranoid. This person realizes that something is being poured into them that they tried to pour into you. Okay? They're burdened. <laughs> mm. This person could be hearing voices. This person could be hearing voices, wicked voices. This person could have a very wicked laugh to themselves. Yeah, when nobody's around. Mm-hmm. When nobody's around, this person could be hearing voices. Whoever this is, trust me, they're running to church. They're opening up Bibles, especially for me to start off this by talking about a little side story about me going to church and open up a Bible. Somebody is like literally trying to reverse something by trying to become holy. That's how they feel like that'll happen. They feel like if they would just like open up, give an offering so they can be released. I'm trying to tell you, uh, Libra, somebody could be coming into your energy to offer you some sort of money or to offer you an apology. And if they're not doing this, they're doing this through prayer. Like maybe if I offer up, maybe if I change this about myself, this bad karma will just go away. Nope. Someone could also be feeling like if they do these things, they can gain a following, they can gain um, support of others. Two of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, to the Seven of Pentacles. So someone could also be suffering in their relationships, their friendships, their partnerships. Um, someone could also be dealing with lots of mommy issues. Okay, whoever this person is, this could be male or female, because I mentioned it could be somebody that you used to sleep with. If this is a mask, if this is a romantic situation, this particular person has partaked with other energies and speaking about you constantly and trying to win people over to see their side of the story. And now that something has backfired, they're pleading, they're praying to get their own ass out of this hot water. Someone's also trying to retract bad things that they said. Yeah, somebody having to think about the things that they invested in. The people that they've invested in. The spell work that they've invested in. Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody is also sitting back and reflecting on the nasty people that they have around them. Mm -hmm. The bad relationships, who did them wrong, how they did other people wrong. Mm -hmm. They're sitting back and they're thinking about who they invested in and how it didn't get them fucking nowhere. You could be dealing with the Virgo, don't have to be. I've got Pisces out here as well and I also have Libra. Someone is thinking about things that they invested in and did not go anywhere. That's why I said somebody's in a group of people and they fucking don't want to be there. What did I just say? Somebody's trying to balance something out. Somebody is trying to balance something out. And make some sort of decision. Two, two. There we go again. Double digits. Something's coming in doubles. Four, four. Two, two. Something, somebody's being hit with karma twice. Someone could be getting hit in karma with their money, their mental health. 
Three of Cups with the Knight of Wands. Someone drinks excessively. Someone could have also um, had a DUI. I did mention plea deal, oath, contract. Someone has a drinking problem or overindulgence, partying, going to the bar. Someone also has a secret lifestyle they don't want anybody to know about. Like maybe someone's like in the closet or something. We've got the four of wands. Okay, we've got the four of wands out here. With the ace of cups. Somebody, you're getting ready to get a home. Somebody's getting ready to get married. Someone's about to fall in love. Um... If you're expecting some sort of results back for your health condition, that's gonna come out very positive. Um, someone's very highly favored. Someone's very blessed. You could be seeing lots of synchronicities such as white birds or just um, tropical birds or um, feathers. Something significant about synchronicities you could be experiencing. Keeping them to yourself, kind of like in disbelief, like, what was that? I said keeping them to yourself when the Three of Pentacles just came out here in reverse. Whoever you are, you could be more of an omnivert. I'm like, excuse me, an introvert? Well, I said omnivert, so to some, you speak out and you're outgoing, but you have these moments where you're to yourself and you, I think I'm speaking to like an empath because empaths can kind of be like, talking to people and then all of a sudden it's like okay this is enough I've got to pull back right now there's also something about your love life that you're keeping to yourself getting a new home you're keeping to yourself ace of pentacles in reverse tell me more about this ace of pentacles in reverse oh for some of you guys the reason why you're keeping this to yourself is because if you tell anybody you know you're at risk of losing it Sending you negative energies, being all smug about your new ideas. Okay, that was weird. With the Six of Swords, you're about to be taken off. You're being spiritually led to move in a different direction. Now I could honestly say you might want to watch Crosswatch for Capricorn's reading. But you're definitely going in a different direction, but you're keeping to yourself. Somebody, something is being measured. Something is being measured. You could be also taking inventory on the past things that you've been going through. Something's also significant about a brown bookshelf. A brown bookshelf somebody could have their altar set inside of it or it's like if, if it's not a brown bookshelf and it's like a cubby in a wall like cut out cubby in the wall mm -hmm. could be someone's altar or where someone keeps a very very important um photograph i just seen a brown frame something significant about the color brown something's also significant about a tattoo on the upper part of the left arm We've got the Page of Cups coming out here. Small offer. Small offer coming. With the Fool. Okay, so you're about to take a chance. You're about to take a chance. You're, someone's going to give you a small offer. It doesn't have to be something big. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like someone's going to buy someone a car or someone's going to just give someone something. Something is going to make a turn in a very different direction where it looks like it was supposed to go this way, but it ends up going this way type of energy. Yeah. It's kind of like you're praying and you're wanting to manifest something like, oh, I want a baby, then I want to get married. But you may get married and then have the baby. But definitely taking a chance at something and keeping things to yourself. Now, who paranoid? Who stressed out? Somebody that refused to. Mm. Whoever this person is that is over here pleading and praying, they are paranoid. And we know what, exactly why they're paranoid. It's 
six of cups in reverse. This person keeps thinking about what they did over and over again. I told you, somebody praying. Somebody opening up Bibles, trying to find Bibles. Somebody's trying to reverse what they got their self into. Whatever ideas you had, whatever you decided to do, whatever direction you decided to go in, oh, this person was like, that's stupid, or you shouldn't do that. This person was against something that you felt was right for you, a decision. Something tells me this, this whole reading has something to do with spirituality. Someone could also be getting readings done on you um, or someone is just like watching you very, very closely. Whoever this person is, they know that you're headed towards money. Someone also knows that you're heading towards um, creating a family. A lot of you guys, this is a your whole entire family. Your whole entire family watching you and looking at you. And they're trying to figure out like what your next moves are. But a lot of them already know that you are coming on the brink of stardom in some sort of way. They know a blessing is coming. What did I say about my foresight? It's distasteful. I believe it's distasteful for me to boast about my gifts. You guys see me shuffling the cards, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody, your family is going to watch you walk into your blessings. And if it's not family, it's a group of motherfuckers. You got a group of people and they keep trying to, just, they're, 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 they're going through a whole bunch of things. Some of them are paranoid. They don't like each other. There's fights breaking out. They're trying to look at things over and over and over again. Now, all of a sudden, they want to be a generational curse breaker, but ain't now one of them putting in no type of work to go through the dark night of the soul. And if this ain't your family, it's a group of people. Someone's pissed. Someone is so fucking pissed off because their third eye is closed, because they don't have an intuition at all. Someone does not bear gifts and they never will. And they're mad. They're watching you and they're infuriated. <laughs> Someone also has some sort of dream about you. <laughs> They're dreaming. Someone's dreaming about you. Someone's having dreams about you being in a position of authority, um, you being in the spotlight. Um, but see, I believe what's happening is that your ancestors and angels is visiting this person on purpose. That's your justice. You see, the other day I got on live and I was so mad about something, even though I may have not look like it. My spirit guides tried to warn me and tell me, I, we got you. Your job is to deliver the messages. Don't worry about nothing else. We got you. Someone, your spirit team is exposing your future to someone on purpose. Your spirit team is exposing your future to someone on purpose. Could be a Virgo, don't have to be. And whoever this person is, they're feeling very paranoid about something that they got away with. What time is it? Oh, we're already at 29 minutes. I better switch decks. Oh. The higher font to the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone's about to lose their job. Someone's gonna lose their job. This could be on a um, global level. There could be some um, heavy layoffs. Someone's or it's this person. 
They're at risk of losing their job because of something that they've done. This queen of wands in reverse. Could be a Sagittarius. Someone could be... Um, Someone could be losing um, their gifts as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I don't know why, but I'm gonna go for this Kipper deck. Did I already do the Kipper with you guys? I don't know. I don't think I did. Wow. Okay, that was unusual. Yeah, I don't think I started off with the Kipper. Let's just... See what's coming out of this Kipper deck real quick, Ibra. No, I didn't use the Kipper deck. Sudden Wealth is at the bottom of the deck. Just make sure I shuffle a little bit better. You two have the same, I'm speaking to someone, you have the same kinds of gifts that I do, okay? You should be feeling some sort of feelings of ascension at this time. Somebody, you have like a, um, a spirit baby around you, but this is an actual child. This child looks like a toddler. Yeah, someone lost a child, a child like below the age of three years old. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> Now y'all know I didn't know what card was in my hand. Somebody, you got gifts like that. Somebody, cross watcher, whoever you're watching, whoever's watching me right now, you have gifts. This, what you just seen me do, and you seen my eyes look away, you have gifts that way. The same thing you just seen me do, you have it inside of you. Somebody, you lost a child. Your child is with you. Thief. I had no idea that card was in my hand. Great fortune in reverse. False person. Message in reverse. Someone could have gotten away with um, out paying child support. And whoever this person is, they are in some sort of karmic cycle. I'm also speaking to a masculine. Somebody's keeping you from your child. Whoever's getting your child support payments or, you know, I could be speaking to a mother, a grandmother who you can't see your grandchild, but someone's making payments or someone's doing everything right. Whoever you are in this position, know that somebody's receiving some sorts of karma. This could be a feminine who has like multiple children and this is this person's way of being able to sustain their income. They're in some sort of karmic cycle because that's all they depended on was making sure that they got a check, got a check, got a check. You've been waiting for to hear from your child and you haven't. This person is also being swayed by somebody in their ear, telling them not to let the child see you. You could be a mother in this position too. Maybe there's something going on in the court system with a mother figure. Someone does not want someone to see their child. Someone's holding someone's child against them. Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. So I'm gonna use my new 
through deck and then I'm gonna roll out of here, Libra. Where is it at? Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, Spirit. Huh. This isn't the deck that I wanted to use, though, but for some reason. Oh, there. No. Okay. I got a brand new deck. This is called the Manifest Success deck. This is, I have another deck that I had and I use it in the Capricorn reading. But for some reason I can't find it. My nose is itching. There's some sort of future um, information or something in real time that's happening. Something in real time is happening. Years, money flow, hard work, putting plans into motion, career, building, team, taking time off and security. That's for somebody. You're, you're gaining momentum. You're gaining momentum. You may not know it. I just seen the word garden. Somebody's last name could be garden or gardener. Someone could be a gardener who is listening to me. You could be getting into gardening, growing your own fruit and vegetables. Watch, it's time to profit. Divine timing, seize the moment. Career, waiting period. Temp work, laid off. So someone really is losing their job. Someone's gonna lose their job. I'm sorry to give that bad news or someone has already lost their job and I'm speaking to somebody in real time and I said time and look what came out, a watch. Whoever you are, you have gifts just like me. I could be speaking to a high priestess cross watching. Libra. Wings, rising above money issues, business taking off, profit. Y'all ready for me to tell y'all what it say? Spiritual work, life purpose, mission. You can read that down there. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. I am the Supreme Voice. Thank you, Libra, for watching me. Bye.